track but we we okay we okay we okay we a little late posting this week y'all i let the kids school i let the kids school schedule throw me off my game and a little kid's birthday was stressing me out it was really stressing me out so for the most part he just wanted money like he already his dad gave him a pretty penny and he was kind of content with the money he had and like i said he just literally wanted to go to the trampoline bounce house that was it and i was like what the heck so his birthday was literally stressing me out because i be trying to do birthdays big i want to go on trips but they don't be caring for that so it's like girl you trying to do something that they don't want to do so why are you stressing yourself but it was still stressing me out. So, and then yesterday was the first day of school, which was which was a hassle in itself. So yeah, I'm like, okay, the days that they gotta go back to school, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but girl, you can't really do nothing with your day or like makeup or anything like i got an hour to get back i got an hour to get dressed and get to work and that's it so my back been killing me like a little old lady so i did a little stretching this morning and then my face is breaking out like crazy it's like every other day i got a new freaking pimple this clean and clear Let's see. this right here best product for pimples like you put this on your your pimples and your pimples literally go away by the next day i've been using this product for years and every time i switch to like something different it doesn't work as good as this and this kind of works just as good as like those pimple that works pretty like it's pretty dead on to that so it's pretty pretty good i've been working on my acrylic nails and i wanted to try the crocodile print she was sliding but i mean i think it looked pretty good for the most part i just did a short tip on here i actually just left the little brown thing and added acrylic on top and I really like how it came out. And then I added acrylic on this one. And this is one that's just not acrylic. And I just sanded it down and um, cut it. You know, she's she's giving. Okay. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to introduce this Thursday vlog off. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. And we're going to head up out this door. Okay? I just made a quick little thumbnail and made the video live so it can be up at eight o'clock so for the most part i've been posting the videos at eight o'clock in the morning but i'm thinking maybe next week i'm gonna try posting them a little bit later and see if that works better because i always have people that say they want to watch it in the morning and i have people that say the evening it's best I just like early morning vlogs so when I'm sitting at work I can watch videos so I like to post mine early in the morning because if it's late at night probably not watching it until the morning so that is why I stick to morning vlogs but if y'all want me to post them at night I can post them at night 
but yeah let's go find us a little outfit and go because i've been said like i was about to get dressed and head up out of here and then i end up making a thumbnail so y'all girl okay your girl is dressed so i put my braids up in a little bun because i think that is just giving i got this shirt from shein my fashion Nova jeans that i forgot i had and then my red and black 12 so I was just following up with you in regards to the car seat. So I did speak with my manager and she said the deductible was still apply. So as of now, it's still under that deductible. So you still will have to just pay out of pocket, unfortunately. <laughs> You're welcome. I was like, oh, it's not the news. I know she didn't want to hear, but yeah. yeah <laughs> yeah that's more important your kids safety so <laughs> all right perfect well i just wanted to follow up with you if you have any other questions you know feel free to give me a call you you're welcome enjoy the rest of your day bye bye Woo girl, let me tell you about this day so far. So I took a late lunch because I dropped Keontae off at school this morning. I told him he was going to have to catch the bus. And instead of me being a parent who enforces stuff and like, you got to get on the bus, I get freaked out. He's like, I don't know how and I don't want to catch the bus. I'm like, I just have to figure out how to make it happen. So I went to go pick up my baby on my lunch hour. So I literally have to be back to work in... 10 minutes so i'm trying to like push the pedals to the metal but i'm thirsty so we about to go get us something to drink so as you can see it's not gonna happen within an hour but nonetheless i realize that i can make it to my kids school and back within an hour it's just i can't do nothing else in between so i end up warming up this like little tuna thing i got these tuna bowls from walmart i got a teriyaki bowl one and then a, Mediter a mediterranean one and it is like literally like the tuna on top and like some sauce and then there's like this one had white rice the other bowl i had was brown rice and then you just pour it in there and this is pretty good i, I bought it because it had a lot of protein in it so that's what's my motivation to buy it but that was so good and i'm so full i just scarfed that down so i'm about to go get me something to drink and go finish up my last like hour i literally have like well, I have two hours, but I have like two hours to finish. But today has kind of been a shit show. Like, I have not gotten anything really accomplished, to be completely honest. Like, I went in with three activities or three tasks of activities to do, and I'm leaving with the same amount. Like, I legit didn't get nothing done today. Like, my day was chaotic and very crazy. I got this one claim where I thought the lady is, it was crazy, but she tells me that her house was hit by well no not her house the house wasn't hit by lightning she was hit by lightning so she said she was using her phone her lightning came and struck her finger or her phone and just caused like a like a, i guess a surge on one side of her wall outlet which caused damage to her computer and her son's ps5 and she has like a little burn on her hand. Now she didn't mention anything about her phone being damaged. I didn't even ask, but I was so like, like what? You telling me that you were struck by lightning? Like I was so confused that I just, I don't know. Let me try to make this turn. So, I'm just trying to figure out how do I investigate this claim? I've never had a claim that was dealing with lightning how do i investigate a lightning claim right so i'm trying to find out information i'm asking managers and managers like you need to ask your manager okay because this is not an easy claim so you go ahead and ask your manager my manager not here today so i was like oh my gosh so i'm just trying to research 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 come to find out i talked to one of the managers and they tell me that's very well possible like 
doesn't sound too far-fetched to them so they're telling me I have to do like all this additional investigation to figure out if this was like actually struck by lightning and I'm like oh my gosh like girl so that took me a long time then I have another lady who called which like none of these are all my activities to do today another lady calls me today and she wants me to extend her rental past the 30-day mark now she called me yesterday and she left a nice little voicemail that said i need you to call me back like today i was already gone for the day but i still listen to my voicemails and i was like no who does she think she is telling me she need me to call her back today i'm not calling her back so I did it, and she don't call managers, so I had to deal with that fire today. Like, girl, you should just call her back. But I had no information. Took a whole process just to get her approved, but we got her approved, okay? Handle that fire, right? And then we had drama in the workplace. I'm about to go get my energy drink. I'm at, I'm about to go get my drink, and I'm going to tell y'all that drama when I come back, because it's juicy, okay? real juicy y'all don't want to hear that story just wait on it i'll be right back don't go nowhere yo bitches is rude sheesh i forgot i'm low-key in the hood god damn i just i don't know maybe because me if somebody's behind me i'm going to leave the door open for them so that they can come through. This lady just like let the door slam right on my face. I don't know why I assumed she was gonna be nice and hold it open for you, girl, but she was not. I was like, uh oh, let me. <laughs> now, ma'am, slam that door on my face. The fuck? My camera about to overheat while I'm over here trying to tell y'all a whole story about drama, but I got me a Dr. Pepper. It is not healthy, but the tuna was, right? So, don't judge me. <gasps> judge your mama see that mean that's a sign that i don't need this hoe anyway let me tell y'all this, 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 this juicy ass story at work okay so y'all know there's old adjusters and there's new adjusters and the old adjusters have had lots and lots and lots of claims and they want everybody to be between 150 and at least 200 so anybody that had over 200, they've, like, they've reassigned those additional claims to the newer adjusters. Okay. One of the girls so happened to sit behind me. And the adjuster that she took over claims sit behind her. So it's three of us in a row. The girl that's a new adjuster sits behind me. The old adjuster is in row th three. So I'm going to say row three. Or no, we're just going to say new adjuster, old adjuster. Goddamn, I'm confusing the story. Let's start over. <laughs> okay, a new new adjuster took all of old, old adjuster's claims. New adjuster doesn't agree with the liability decision that the old adjuster decided. So y'all see me in this card that's this blue card that's right here. Me right here, blue card right here. Okay. So let's say I was going to make a right turn. But there was no car. That blue car y'all just saw, there was no car there at the time. But I'm going right, but I'm in the middle. Obviously, there's another car that can fit through. The car, which was that blue car, was in the back of me and they noticed they want to make a left turn so they decide to squeeze on the right side of me to make a right turn I still need to make my right turn so I make a right turn as well I hit your insured which was in the blue car because they decided to come up from behind me and make the right turn hopefully this is making sense so old adjuster puts our insured at fault because they shouldn't have squeezed through to try to make that right turn new adjuster doesn't feel like we're at fault 
because according to California state law, in order to make a right turn, you need to be hugging the curb. So she feels as if claimant is at fault. And baby, new adjuster is asking everybody in their mama for their opinion on the claim. It was a whole little beef thing. And I was like, ooh, girl, let me just sit back and shut up because this is getting spicy. We getting real spicy over here. Now, me personally, I feel as if like we're not our insured is not a hundred percent at fault no she's not okay y'all my camera overheated which i told y'all it was overheating but i wanted to end it off by saying i believe our insured definitely has like some like there's some definitely some comp neg in this scenario like it's not a hundred percent our fault because just because our insured decided to creep up the side that doesn't give the person the right away to just hit them like no so I'm not gonna be like, oh, she, you know, she just a hundred percent at fault because the other driver should have saw our insured and, you know, not hit them unless it happened at the same time, you know, unless like the light was red, the light turned green, and then our insured was creeping up behind them, and then they both turned at the same time. Then no, that would just be a hundred percent on our short insured. So I would need more information, but yeah, like that is just it's just crazy like the drama i was like i've never seen um older adjuster or old old adjuster is that what it was that the name i gave her y'all i don't know i've never seen her upset she's always like so friendly and so nice and she was like oh this is pissing me off i thought my camera was about to fall on my face but she was like yeah this is pissing me off like uh so I was like, uh-oh. But yeah, we just made it back to work. So I'm about to go ahead and knock out this little hour like I told y'all. And I'll be talking to y'all real soon. Y'all, I am burnt the fuck out. Like, I'm burnt. I, I'm, I'm exhausted. I am so tired. And mentally, I'm just... I haven't been at work all day. I cannot even focus no more. I'm like, I'm leaving. Like, I'm leaving 30 minutes early. Your girl done popped this pimple. It was on accident. But the pimple is popping. It just keeps bleeding. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is... <clears throat> I'm just over it. I'm just over it. So we leave it. We'll, we'll try again tomorrow. Tomorrow going to be a wonderful day. Tomorrow is Thursday. Pre-weekend vibes, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I saw this TikTok from Dope TV. And he made like this blackened salmon dish with it just looks so good but it's giving to me and i want to eat it whenever i see something on tiktok instagram that's just slightly different than what i already cook my mouth it be watering for it and i feel like i just need it in my life because i'm so sick of the same basic as meals that i'm that I'm constantly cooking. The last time I was just showing too much over here, so I'm big. I'm be big. I know sweet potatoes are like one of those things that's healthy and I should be eating, but I'm not here yet. So we gonna make these mashed potatoes because that's what I saw on the TikTok. This watermelon, a mini made be hitting. I don't even like watermelon flavored stuff. Okay. Okay, don't give me the line. I'm low key for shit. I do like watermelon flavored stuff. I just don't like watermelon. But this mini made hits to me. The kids don't like it, so it might not be that good. But to me, baby, it's good. And I see something else that looks low-key I low-key want to try that I low-key but I'm not we got our ingredients for our, our blackened salmon recipe right. we are legit about to call it a day we're done we're done I'm excited for this little meal tonight
this cornbread biscuit this is good i was not expecting it to taste like cornbread but it actually does i i haven't even touched the rest of the food i took a bite of this like on my way up the stairs and i was like oh my gosh this is so good so yeah i'm a little bit nervous about the food i'm not gonna lie Whew. when i had tasted the mashed potatoes it wasn't giving flavor so i added some more salt and some more seasoning and i'm hoping it's it's good i'm looking at aisha face and she's shaking her head yes yeah, so I'm thinking it's good. It's good, baby. Mm-hmm. The sauce is, um, remember I told you that that's good. You just thought came over with the sauce. Mm-hmm. It's going to help. Mm-hmm. It helped. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, baby. Okay, it's good. It's good. That's how it feels. Or the salmon. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, it's definitely spicy, but I add too much salt. It's giving salty. Okay, this wasn't the best this wasn't my best work but it was something different okay we'll try we'll try again mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't try that at home that's very much salty i'll see y'all tomorrow